Hello my crafty friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Sorry about the little bit of glare that's going on here, but uh, yes, welcome to my channel, my craft room. Let's get cozy here and look and see what I have. Rediscover what I have for Halloween. <laughs> so yeah, I was um, yeah, making some fall journals and now I want to make a couple of them, hopefully a couple of Halloween journals and I want to see what I have. I really don't remember, you know, it was a year ago, right? Or about a year ago. Uh, I actually made Halloween journals, I'm trying to think, I made Halloween journals in like June last year, something like that, <laughs> and then I made Christmas in July, I believe, Christmas in July this year. I didn't, I don't know, I wasn't in that mode or in that mood, so I didn't do it, but now I am getting into it, so let's see, this is one stack, and then I have, I had this stack right here on top of my, a bin. So this is all my Halloween. I have this little stack and a bin. So we're going to look at this first, see what I have here, and uh, pull out if I see anything that is going to be for my the first journal that I'm going to, Halloween journal I'm going to make this year, I'm going to pull it out. But let's see what I have. So I think these right here on top were, I'm going to say, either window clings or stickers. And I backed them with some white cardstock and cut them out so they could be whatever tags or tuck spots or whatever. So I have all of these done that way. There's even a little thing here. Oh, okay. So let's see. Yeah, it's a little. <laughs> like I said, I don't know what I have. So we're just re we're we we're I'm rediscovering it together with you. Here's a little bat. <laughs> that's funny I don't like I said I, I think these were window clings I'm guessing I, I really have no idea I don't remember or they could have been stickers I think they were window clings though a little mushroom pumpkin oh now some of these were actually oh you know what these were I don't know oh that okay now I know what these are these were little things uh, that my granddaughter was playing with a lot. Oh, oh yeah, okay, and she put the eyes and mouth. I can't believe that was a year ago. <laughs> but it was a little um, game or whatever activity to for kids to put uh, the eyes and nose and mouth on the on the stickers. I guess they were kind. Of, I guess they were. You know, I'm trying to think if they were window clings though. Anyway, I keep saying that, right? But, uh, yeah, this, I can tell. See how it's not perfect? But that's one that she put the eyes and mouth on. Now I know. Now I remember. And then this was just a little decoration on that, whatever, sheet of stickers or whatever it was that I cut out. This, she put the eyes and nose and eyes and mouth on. And this, too. See how they're kind of crooked but cute, right? And then I took them and made some of them into journaling cards on this white cardstock that I've been using. So there's a journaling card, a tag made with those stickers. And that's what those are. Okay, it's coming back to me now. <laughs> okay, and these, um, where did I get these? I think I got these at Walmart last year. So there, there are two of them. I see here they're they're little ghosts these aren't opened yet so I'm not going to open them but you can see this one better because this has a string in it but it's a how it's called a Halloween garland last year it was 98 cents I haven't looked to see if they have them this year or not and I'll have to go into Walmart and see or go online and see what they have but I as you can see I don't need any I have these two that I didn't even open but they're different shaped ghosts and you can see there's different colors Around the outside, there's orange, there's a kind of violet, pinkish, black, a little kind of mint green one. So uh, those are fun to make into tags or, or tuck spots or whatever you want to do with them. I've got two of those. Here's a pumpkin garland that I haven't opened. Oh, I haven't opened it. The, the top is starting to come off, but it's not. I haven't technically opened it. It doesn't look like so. Yeah, pumpkin one. Cool. I remember getting this. After I made my Halloween journals last year, I discovered it at Walmart. And I think if I remember right, they had it at Dollar Tree too. But here it's 98 cents. And of course, this is going to be, if they have this at Dollar Tree, it's going to be $1.25. But 
two of them Halloween Fright Tape. So this one was uh, yellow. As you can see, it's this whole strip here. And I thought this would be great for belly bands or just decorating the side of a page or whatever we can think of to do with these. But I got, it looks like I got two of the yellow and one of this orange one, if you dare want whatever it says. <laughs> this one looks like it says keep out. So anyway, those are cool. Um, some treat bags. Halloween treat bags. The top is open. So these are the treat bags from Walmart from last year. The paper ones. I always try to get some of their... Because they have different designs each year. So each year I look to see what designs they have and get a few of their paper treat bags. Here's what I have from... I don't know if there were any more in there, but here's what I have from last year. Pumpkins, trick or treat, and... This one here, oh, they're always cute. I think they're a little, I think they are a little, I have, to, I have some from years past, and these look a little, like they might be slightly smaller. But they might not be, I have to go and compare. So I might actually do that, because I have the ones from, okay, so here's the book that I want to make into. I was hoping I put it in here, I didn't know if I did or not. Because I had one last year, and I, I think it's great for a Halloween journal, the Scooby-Doo, but I love Scooby-Doo. Like, he's one of my, he's probably my number one personal, one of my number one favorite personal cartoons. And so, I had one last year, but I didn't want to cut it, you know, I didn't want to take it apart, because Scooby-Doo is my favorite. But then I found another one, so I was like, okay, next year, that will be a Halloween journal. Here's some stickers, Halloween stickers from Timu. Here's all the different little, what they look like. I know that's probably hard to see, but it looks like, well, I probably did open this originally, but there's a lot to go through here, so I don't want to, like, take two hours for this video. And I'm sure you don't want me to. Uh, this is from Timu last year, too, so I can make, um, I like these for, I mean, you could use it for pockets and making pockets and tuck spots, too, but I really... Uh, got these for the front of a journal like to put on a book or even a fabric cover for like a journal topper They're uh, very retro the ones I got I think they had different you know a few different ones But uh, I got these because of the retroness of them <laughs> And they're meant to make a little banner they have two holes you can punch out at the top and run a string through and make a banner but my thoughts were to use them for a journal topper. Look how cute they are. And there's a lot of them. I don't think I've used any of these yet. I think I got these after, look at that one, the first Halloween and they're scared, um, after I made my Halloween journals last year. So I think, yeah, every one of these is just adorable. So anyway, that's that. Okay, almost to the bottom of this pile. I hope I can use enough stuff so I can fit this inside my bin and not have extras outside my bin. This box was in my bin last year and then I, I added too many things to the bin. I couldn't get it back in there. But in here I have, these are some vintage treat bags here. This is my stash of vintage treat bags. I put, I put one in each Halloween journal I make each year. And I sold a few when I first got them, but uh, I don't want to sell any more because uh, usually they're not cheap. They're not too cheap if you try to buy them online or something. They're not cheap, so I figured I'd better keep some, not sell them all, so that I could have some for my journals. But all those are all vintage. Oh, here's another. I just want to see what's in here. Vintage treat bags. Then I some of my strips from pa Halloween papers that I've sewn together. So those are in here. Good, good. A cut apart from a uh, collection kit, scrapbook paper. Uh, dangle, bead dangle, Halloween bead dangle. So these are Halloween beads and a little charm on the end. And it's hanging on a bulb pin. Cool. Got one of those. This is just a, a dangle. I mean, this could be used in any journal, but I must have made it for a Halloween journal and didn't use it, so it's in here. And then these are all clusters that I made out of little wooden Halloween pieces. 
are this focal point and behind them are just fabric that can be, well this one could be fall. These are Halloween, so you get the idea. There's a couple extra wood pieces in here I see. And just a bunch of, uh, oh here's another wood piece. I got those at a, at a thrift store, all these little wood pieces. There's a little, that's a little brad there, a little leaf brad. Yeah, I knew I had some more fall stuff in here too. I just didn't know where it was. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty one, isn't it? That green fabric behind there. That is pretty. Okay, so that's what's in there. Let's see if we can get this stuff back in here real quick. <laughs> Trying to make it flat so I can get things back in here. Uh, so, it'll close. My treat bags. Oh, I guess everything's in there except for the treat bags. Okay. So there we go. Okay. Good, good. I didn't overstuff it. And then this is um, a couple of, are these the same or different? Okay, so these are, what do, what do they call these? I got these at Dollar Tree. When, these are window clings. So I can use these like stickers, I think. I probably would add a little glue to them. And let's see what they feel like on the back. Yeah, they did. They, yeah, they're they're not stick. They're they're not like stickers. Did I just say they're like stickers? No, they're not like stickers. <laughs> you definitely need some glue on the back of these. They're not sticky at all. They're meant to cling to windows. So uh, I definitely will have to uh, glue these down onto something and figure out how I'm going to do that. You could uh, leave them as they are because they're on this strong, sturdy cardstock and cut them out. And then you could glue them down as, uh, like you would a sticker or, um, you know, a tuck spot or a decoration or something. Or maybe you make cards and you could use them on a card that way, you know. But here's the other sheet here. I know it's rather big, so let me run it, run it uh, through the camera so you can see all the stickers. But again, I haven't looked at Dollar Tree. This I have looked at Dollar Tree, but I haven't, like looked for these to see if they have these so I don't know if they have them this year but I got these last year okay so all I pulled out so far I mean of course I could use all these things in this journal that I'm going to make but for the moment let's put this back I have my the bin behind me that's a nice little piece of packaging there too that would be a cute journal card in that one that packet of stickers I have to take that out of there and make a drilling card. Okay, let me put this down. And I'll grab my bin. I already took the lid off. Right here, behind me. Here it is. Let me put the book to the side too, so that's out of the way. And then, so I opened this to uh, make sure, see if I had any fall stuff this morning. And I saw a painted leaf that I put in the journal that I'm, the fall journal that I'm working on. Oh, that's a pretty fall tag there. That's more fall than Halloween, I would say, even though it's a pumpkin. I will say that. It's a nap. That was a napkin. That is a napkin I have. And it's backed with... Oh, it's got a... I think it's... Book page. Yeah, I can see text behind the napkin. And then on this side, it's sewn around. You can probably see the zigzag stitching. Brown zigzag stitching, and it's got piano roll paper on the back. A little piece of packaging, some cat and candy corn banner. I've been using that for a couple years. I know I've had that for a couple years, using it in my Halloween journals. Here's some more treat bags. <laughs> I'm really showing you what I have here. Oh, I have a lot of treat bags. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, these are from last year, treat bags. I think. I mean, they could be for the last couple of years. I don't know. I might have not got those all last year. Those are probably from the last couple of years. This is a bunch of spiders. This looks like it came from Walmart, maybe. Includes 12 wall creatures, 48 foam dots. Yeah, I think this came from Walmart, but it's spiders. Oh, here's another book. Cool. Look at this. Let's see. So this is a cover. Uh, I'm sure when I bought this, I looked. I mean, I would think you know. I usually do look at the cover. Yep, yep. The cover is the same. Let's see if we can. Let me get my scissors. It's 
So it has a dust cover on here. But I must have I must have found this last year too. After I did my after I did my Halloween journals and I put it away. Because I, I can use this dust cover inside the journal too. So I want to be careful and not tear this up or anything. Not damage it. So it's taped on here. So I'm just cutting through the tape here is what I'm doing. In case you're wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> that is what I'm doing. It's taped right here. So it probably was in a school or something so that the kids couldn't get it off. There we go. Just cutting through the tape. I'm not cutting the dust cover at all. Kind of just severing that tape. There we go. Okay, so the dust cover is all intact. It's even lined with paper. Dust cover is lined with paper. And then it's got plastic over it. So that's the dust cover. And then here is the book. <sighs> Let's see, spookier than a ghost. That's cute. I like that. And it's got the little jack o' lantern, and that's a cute cover for a journal. Um, <clears throat> a Holiday House Reader by Karen Gray Ruel. So let's see what, what the pages look like. Perfect size for a journal, of course. Look at that title page. Boo. <laughs> let's see if we can find a copyright real quick. 2001 so it is vintage oh it's got colorful pages good I was wondering oh cute pages no wonder I got this book <laughs> it's adorable awesome look at it. he's got his candy he's got his candy spilled out on the ground there that is cute okay so that's a cute book that's another one okay so that's my two uh if I want to make those two books, make two Halloween journals, I can use those two books. Let's see. Okay, so I want to see if I can possibly not take everything out of here. This is a little package of, I can see it's probably from Dollar Tree, foam stickers. They're little witch hats and witch um, socks and shoes. And there's a little, there's a, I think what, let's try to see what this is. I guess it's witch hats and shoes shoes and socks that's what that is I've got so for some reason I thought I was going to use all of these bows I don't think I've used any of them yet unfortunately I wish I wouldn't I, I really wish I wouldn't have bought them because I don't know what I'm going to do with them <laughs> now <laughs> but uh, if I figure out something I um, I got one out this morning when I was finishing up my fall journal and they could be put on the top of a tassel, but it's a little bit like overkill because it's kind of big for to put it on a tassel. And uh, I was thinking I could take them apart and use the individual pieces. It's just got a little staple back here if I don't want to use the whole bow. But we shall see if I come up with anything to use those for. And then I have this trim. I remember getting this last year at a thrift store and I got yeah they had quite a few of these and these are great for belly bands or pockets things like that so this is a nice fall one that's a nice fall one and it's quite a bit there it was I think these were on a spool and I took them off and wrapped them like this so they would take up less room but yeah I don't know the thrift store that is here in my town um, had some of these, a bunch of these last year, and I picked out a few that I really liked and got them last year. This one too, I think I got that this one at the same time, and this is a really fall one too. As you can see, hello fall, autumn, all that. It's really pretty. So and that one, they both have wire in them on the ends. You can always take out the wire if you want to, or leave it in. Oh, I was looking for these. I thought I had some out, but I couldn't find them. And here, here's, I think I had one or two out, like, in my craft room. But these, I think I used those up. So here's a few more of these fall. I got these on clearance for, like, next to nothing at Michael's last year. And then let's see what this pile is. Stickers. Uh, just some cutoffs, it looks like. Oh. 
This is a strip I sewed together. Oh, these are all sewn together. Like it could be a tag or whatever, like Franken papers. This is just a couple I sewed together, I see. Or you can add them onto a page. Some Thanksgiving cards. <clears throat> okay, and envelopes. That's what that pile is. Okay, I have in this little cellophane bag some, looks like fall related tags. I knew I had some stuff I made last year in here. It's just that I had already made, I was using up scraps and stuff. So I made, uh, I made tags for my journal that I was currently working on. But these are really pretty made of, these are fabric. They're sewn around and you can see they have little bits and pieces on them. Really cute. That's one set. And then I was probably... I might have made them when it was too late to put them in my shop, you know? I don't know. I don't remember. But they're in here. So <laughs> apparently, maybe I made them and I thought it was too late to put them in my shop, so I didn't. Uh, this is definitely a Halloween little package of goodies here. I've got a bunch of tags all gathered in here. All, all sizes made out of this fabric. They're all little fabric tags. Halloween fabric. I think there's, oh, there's a couple different fabrics in here. Oh, yeah, here, here it is. See, aren't those cute? And they are uh, backed onto some craft colored cardstock sewn around. And they got that, this one has the fuzzy eyelash yarn. Oh, that goes back in there. And then in here, let's see. Oh, little kind of scrappy notebooks, throwing cards. Awesome. So I'm kind of like all set for Halloween, it looks like. All I need is get the pages together and pockets, and I can stuff it full of all these goodies here. They're all ready to go. There's some more strips. So yeah, i got lots of Halloween stuff ready to go. That's awesome. I mean, that alone is probably uh, all I need for one journal, right? That's that ephemera right there. These are some, let's see, what do I have here? This was a recipe book that I took apart and it has Halloween, look like Halloween recipes in there. This is a napkin. I was trying, I was trying my hardest to use this up last year. I remember <laughs> I did, I just couldn't do it. I just had, I had a whole pack of these. So it's kind of, I got these at Walmart too, if you're wondering. I don't know if they have them this year, but I think I got them at Walmart a couple years ago, skeleton napkins, so. Oh, there's a piece of tissue paper there. That's cool. So I can make some more tags with those if I want to. Here is, uh, oh, this is Tim Holtz. Okay, and there's, a, so this is from his Halloween collection from either last year or the year before, but it's words. These are Halloweens. These are supposed to be Halloween words. So you know how his words are, his word books, word sticker books. There's a ton in there and then he's, these were in the background. See, I used a few of the witch hats. Uh, but these are fun to use uh, in Halloween journals. Some ribbon Halloween. They got jack-o'-lanterns on them, so I got a couple of those. Again, those may have been on a spool and I took them off and just wrapped them up like that to take up less room. These are, uh, oh, I found these at a thrift, at a thrift store. Did I find these at a thrift store? I found these at a thrift store. I know. Last year. And I thought they were really cool to put in as, you know, stuff into a pocket. And somebody can color them or, and write on the back like a journaling card. But I just thought these would be so fun to color in bright, like, orange and purple. Uh, wouldn't they? Uh, maybe put, even put some glitter on there or something. I thought those would be fun to have fun with. And then uh, this is a banner, but I think this I got somewhere like Walmart or Target. Uh, not Target. I don't go to Target. I just don't go shopping that much, so I limit my store. So nothing against Target. I'm just saying, I, I didn't, I almost said Target. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, Walmart or Dollar Tree, I got this little skeleton banner at. So I've been taking this apart and using these little, they're felt skeletons. Another little, what is this? Oh, another pouch. Okay. This is a pouch. Looks like all fall stuff. Yep, this is fall. There's tags in there. Wait, wait. Nope, there's two packages. Oh, this is another package of tags, like the one I just showed you. So another package of tags. 
And this is a package, a little zipper pouch of, uh, this is, I guess I put all these in here to try to keep them together. Uh, turkey sticker, turkey stickers, there's um, acorns in there and all kind of little squirrels and foxes and things. I wonder if I should separate out my, my I might do that this year, separate out my fall and Halloween so that, because I knew it was all together and I didn't want to get out my Halloween yet, so I didn't get out my fall, so that means I didn't get to use any of my fall stuff I have in here except for what I just got out. Oh, look, there's some butterflies in here. Look at that. Because huh. I got butterflies out because I said to myself, I want to put some butterflies in my fall journal. And there's actually butterflies in here. Wow, there's lots of good stuff in here. I think I'm going to do that. I probably have a spare, like, shoebox plastic bin that I could probably fit all of my fall stuff in. And then, guess what? I can fit all my Halloween stuff in here instead of having that part on the top. Yes, that's, uh, I think, a good idea. Very good idea. These are all the uh, foil confetti. Uh, these are leaves, and these are acorns and leaves here. These I got at Pop Shelf, I believe. I haven't been there in it. The last time I went there, they didn't have anything I wanted, so I haven't gone back because I'm trying not to buy anything anyway so I haven't gone back there and tempted myself so okay so this is my Halloween fabric apparently that I have left um, but I know I have well this is Halloween this is more like fall this is fall see the leaves this way I would say fall it's sunflower and it says happy fall on it <laughs> uh, Halloween Halloween the rest is Halloween there's some crows, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, I made journals out of all these, uh, a lot of these already, and so I still have plenty of fall fabric, it looks like. We're getting down to the bottom on this side. Oh, here's a bunch of, I love these little um, colorful skull beads. That's what's in there. And there's some charms here, Halloween. Little pumpkin people and stuff like that. Metal charms. And this is another bead dangle. I had one in the, that box too at the beginning of this video, but this is another one. Halloween beads. And then there's a little can, a bag of, uh, like, it's supposed to be some kind of candy or something at the end here, a little charm. And I have this one on a lobster claw clasp. So then in the bottom here is just some more treat bags. Paper treat bags. This is just some black that <laughs> fabric. A little October 30. I was wondering where this was. October 31st rubber stamp in the bottom. Yeah. Oh, here's a bead down here. Halloween bead. Okay, so let's put this down and see what's over here. So here I have a actually put in some this is fall baking cookbook okay so I could have see I could have put that in uh, yeah definitely I think I'm going to definitely need to because I what I did to myself this year was not be able to use my fall stuff because it was in here and I didn't want to get out my Halloween okay so this this is the pages from a book I made into a journal last year the witch next door and here's the pages so I definitely need to do something with these. So those are in there. I'm going to kind of switch it over here. Some, oh, here's some little, what are these little pieces? Oh, these are little, that's a corn, corn, and this is pumpkins. I don't know what this is from. <laughs> Maybe some ribbon or something. This is a napkin, and then these are little scraps of fabric. What's this? A scrap of fabric. Uh, yeah, I really needed to. Oh, that's a scrap of ribbon, actually. That's grow grade ribbon. Okay, and then this is all fabrics, fabric and fabric scraps. Okay, and then a little bag of foam stickers, all different kinds, bats and pumpkins, and all different kind of things in there. Ghosts, and owls. 
That's what that is. Here's some fall. See, I wish I would have had those earlier. Fall leaves stickers. Those I think I got at Walmart one time a few years ago. I haven't used very many of them. But I would have used probably a couple this year if I would have had them out. Skeleton, here they are. Here's the skeleton napkins I was talking about. See how many there are? I have a lot of those to use up. It's a sticker. It's a, it's a cardstock sticker. One of those cats and a piece of that banner. I got a couple of those banners, or a few of them, so that's what's what you've seen is what's left. Uh, guess what these are? More treat bags. Can you tell I like paper bags? <laughs> Oh, what's this one? There's an orange CD envelope. And oh, these, this is the regular from Walmart, but this is, I don't know where this is from. Maybe I got it in Happy Mail, but that's pretty. Oh, this is a little one. That's cute. That's adorable. And then this is from Walmart, but this, another one, I don't know where this came from. And then more Walmart ones. Okay. A little notepad of paper. Ghost note paper. A little ghost right there. Oh, here's some more fabric. Wow. Okay. Oh, I do have plenty of fabric. <laughs> I have plenty of Halloween fabric. This one has lollipops on it. Pumpkins. Candy corn. Candy. And this says like a jack-o'-lantern with candy in it. Okay, so more of that. Same thing. Right there. We're almost to the bottom. <laughs> Are you getting excited? As I am. Uh, just some little bits and pieces. This is some crepe. Feels like crepe paper. Piece of a divider page. I can tell what that is. It has a hole in it. Where it used to go into a notebook. And there are some little cut parts. A scary lady. I don't know what she's from. Very strange. And a ghost I cut out from something. Some other stickers here. This is from a collection kit. Scrapbook collection kit stickers. Uh, this is a, a little black cat. Uh, I think I had a banner of black cats, didn't I? And they were stuck together and I cut them apart. And this is maybe the only one I have left. It's the only one I see. And then I had a banner of pumpkins. And that's what these are the last. Yeah, I cut them apart. See, right here, possibly. And I was cutting them apart and using them, using them last year. There's some stickers, skeleton stickers, Halloween stickers. And last but not least, oh, here's a, what is this? This is a little owl I put in here. It was from something. I don't know. I don't remember what it was from, but I put it in here because it looked like it belonged in a Halloween journal or something. But it doesn't have... Oh, it used to have a little hole up here, but it broke off. So I can't hang it from anything. So I was trying to figure out... It's heavy, so it's it's like not like you can glue it on a page or something. You'd have to be on a cover. But it's really cute, so I'd like to figure out something to do with that. And there's a little, I think Maria gave me this little hair clip. It's purple. She had given me a few of those. Treat bags. And a couple of Halloween uh, skull bead dangles that I had made. So I put these together so they could be little bead dangles. The little skeleton head with a bead on either side and it's on a you know, an eye pin, so I can just add a, a bulb pin or whatever, paper clip or whatever I want to hang it from and hang this from, you know, a page or whatever in a journal. So those are ready to go. All right, you've seen it all, guys. Let's get busy making some Halloween journals. So I got the books. I found the two books. This one, I said I wanted to make two, and there you go. I have two books. So these will be the Halloween journals, and if I have any time after these I'll make some fabric ones but I um, these are going to be my number one favorite thing to use right here is those books so <clears throat> sorry thanks for watching today I hope you enjoyed 
Uh, stay tuned for how those books develop. I'll probably start with the Scooby-Doo one because, you know, it's, it's Scooby-Doo. So. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Let me uh, stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you then. Everyone have a great day.